Hey guys, what's up? Just doing a quick video on the drag chain solution for the faulty cable. Now this cable that you see here is the updated cable that uh, we create customer service is sending out. Um, I will try and show you, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> this is the old cable and it's kind of hard to see here, but if you notice, I'm just going to do kind of a side by side comparison. If you notice the one on the right, the updated cable is much thinner and doesn't bunch. You see how that cable is all bunching already in the one spot because they put that, that zip tie on there. Um, I don't know why they, they, they did it like that, but the, the cable is definitely, definitely, definitely a design flaw. All the machines that you have have the old cable, the one on the left, and they will absolutely, absolutely fray. Where that happens, and, and I had to take the laser head off because uh, there was another problem with the, the laser head. Actually, actually, this part right here, which is the, um, it's called the um, optocoupler, which is that part right there. There was something bad um, with the optocoupler. I don't know if it was caused by this by this cable issue, but for whatever reason, I only used my machine four times and it already broke. Now you notice that all their other cables have drag chains. The only one that didn't is the one on top. So I bought this drag chain off of Amazon and I can insert the link um, to get that. There is a little bit of a, you know, a process of getting that on, but you'll notice that this thing moves smoothly and then right here, okay, so I'll zoom out here, right about here, I've inserted a uh, one of the clips. So these are the clips. I don't know if you can see that. Those are the clips that are on that on this track to begin with. I remove those clips. Your parts box or parts bag comes with three extras of these. Now before I reinserted the, this drag chain, what I did was I clipped this on to the drag chain like so okay and now the extra clips are gonna have a new sticky um, backing peel that off right and then when you roll this down you're gonna stick it down okay now this one the You'll notice there's a point to where, so the laser, th this is going to be attached to the laser, okay? This thing is moves down, right, with the laser, and it's going to probably stop right around there. And you'll notice that that's going to be the last point where you want a clip. You don't want to clip it here, otherwise it's going to prevent the laser from moving too f uh, far enough where, where it needs to move. So there is a limit to where you want to put that last clip. So I'm just going to remove this one. But it, it's pretty easy. Just 
take that clip, slide it on to the bottom side of the drag chain, roll it down to where it, you know, peel off the sticky, roll it down to this point. Now I put, I put one here, I put one here, and I put one, actually I think I might even have four of them on there. I, um, there's, there's one here, down here, there's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. Um, I think one of the old ones I was able to salvage, and it, it still had some stickiness on it, so I used that. Um, but that's the solution, guys. Now, this, in order to get to that, you have to remove this, this cover. Because the problem is, is that, and I'll just show you, like, so... If this is rolling up, it's all, it, it can only, you know, it's, it's pretty bulky. So this is not going to fit in there. Um, they may have a smaller one because this, the new cable is pretty small. I would try to see if, uh, this is the, um, I, I think this is the 10 by 15 millimeter drag chain. The 10 by 11 millimeter drag chain may work better. Um, I may order one just to see if it works better and, and, and sits a little lower because then I could reinstall this um, shroud. So the only issue, and, and it's not really a big issue, but when this thing is rolled up in that in that position, you'll notice that um, as this is as this is rolling like back and forth, it may want to like touch this this bar. It's no big deal because you're not going to be engraving there, and and even if it does hit it. Like it's not gonna cause any issue. It's just gonna hit this this bar. But um, for the most part, all your laser work is gonna be outside of that. So you shouldn't have any issue. I think this is the only solution to this cable problem, guys. Um, the new cable that they sent seems to be better. It may work, but I'm not gonna trust that it's not going to fail again and guys if you have a new machine and you're just starting to use it check your cable because i'm telling you that um the old the old cable gosh i can't even find it right now but um the one the first one that i replaced I can't find it. The first one I replaced is totally frayed. I mean, it it was binding up so bad. So what it was doing is it would go, it would kind of do like a little reverse. Um, and, and then it would literally stop the laser head from moving. So artwork was coming out, coming out all messed up. The, um, the machine wasn't completing like job assignments. And I think a lot of the problems you guys are having with, with the job assignments not getting completed has to do with that cable and, and it not going through the full cycle of the laser engraving on your artwork. So guys, that's the best explanation that I can do for you. Hope this helps and good luck.